Hello, I'm speaking with you from Fort Monroe, Virginia. We're also known as the Gateway to Freedom. We sit right next to a little town called Phoebus, Virginia. Interestingly, they call themselves the Gateway to the New World. Phoebus sits inside of Hampton, Virginia, whose motto is first from the sea, first to the stars. My name is Henry McElroy, Jr., a retiring former state representative from New Hampshire. Thank you for your attention to this brief message concerning the world's interaction with both Earth-based and off-world astronauts. The reason I am making this announcement is in the hopes of encouraging better perspective to all who explore the universe. Therefore, as a result, making a more valuable contribution to the humanity, to humanity for the benefit of all faiths, all races, and all nations. Another reason I am here today is because I believe in the foundational wisdom of our nation, which was laid down by our founding fathers, and because we know, know that highly advanced knowledge and information can assist human beings in solving various problems, both in current times and in our future. When I was in the New Hampshire State Legislature, I served on the State Federal Relations and Veterans Affairs Committee. It was apparently important that as a representative of the sovereign people who had elected me to this honorable office, that I be updated on a large number of topics related to the affairs of our people and our nation. As I understood it, some of those ongoing topics had been examined and categorized as federal, state, local development, and security matters. These documents related to various topics, some of which span decades of our nation's history. One of those recurring topics is the reason I am addressing you this evening. I would like to submit to our nation my personal testimony of one document related to one of these ongoing topics, which I saw while in office serving on the State Federal Relations and Veterans Affairs Committee. The document I saw was an official brief to President Eisenhower. To the best of my memory, this brief was pervaded with a sense of hope, and it informed President Eisenhower of the continued presence of extraterrestrial beings here in the United States of America. The brief seemed to indicate that a meeting between the President and some of these visitors could be arranged as appropriate if desired. The tone of the brief indicated to me that there was no need for concern since these visitors were in no way causing any harm or had any intention whatsoever of causing any disruption then or in the future. While I can't verify the times or places or that any meeting or meetings occurred directly between Eisenhower and these visitors, because of his optimism in his farewell address in 1961, I personally believe that Eisenhower did indeed meet with these extraterrestrial off-world astronauts. I hope my personal testimony will aid the nation in its 
quest for continued enlightenment. I am honored to follow in the footsteps of those who have come forward with their personal testimonies, those who deserve the admiration of the American people for sharing their accounts publicly in an effort to elevate our knowledge to a higher understanding of our existence. People such as former astronaut John Glenn, Edgar Mitchell, Gordon Cooper, and Buzz Aldrin, just to name a few. Former presidents Ronald Reagan and Jimmy Carter. Captain Bill Uhouse of the United States Marine Corps. Lieutenant Colonel John Williams of the United States Air Force. Colonel Philip Corso, Sr. of the United States Army. Commander Graham Bethune of the United States Navy along with David Hamilton of the De Department of Energy, Donna Hare of NASA, and James Coop of the National Security Agency. I would also like to thank the countries of France, Brazil, Britain, Russia, Italy, Denmark, Sweden, Norway, New Zealand, and our neighbor to the north, Canada, Uruguay, and Australia, for also opening their files to the citizens of their countries and allowing them access to information that is so very important to the evolution of humanity. I thank you for allowing me this opportunity to have a small part in doing the same by sharing the information I have given you today. Thank you very much, and I'd like to thank our communications crew for helping us make this happen today, and I'd also like to authorize distribution of this video for anyone who wants to use it for educational purposes. And thank you.